glow up videos don't just stop because we're on quarantine. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> It is time for a glow up, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna have a glow up today because I just need it. My body needs it. My mind needs it. My skin needs it. Oh my God, look at me. So I'm starting this video the night before the majority of the glow up is gonna take place because let's be real, the majority of the glow up is just gonna be like me washing my hair and doing my makeup. But, I am starting one part tonight and that is tan and to be honest I was contemplating whether or not to even add tan into this glow up then I was like do you know what I feel like sometimes you just need to tan a bit of a glow I've gotten so pale right a little bit of context a little bit of backstory I went to Thailand nearly two years ago for three weeks and then I went from there to Australia for just over a year and then I went to Th Thailand for another month. So I haven't seen myself this pale, this literally, me and the wall are the same color. Like, look at this. Like I'm actually lighter than like the white wall. I haven't seen myself this pale in basically two years. Like all my makeup is too dark. I have one foundation that matches me and everything else, like I need to get a concealer to match me. But then I'm like, Rekha, you're, I'm just so pale, so I'm like, right, if I tan myself, then I have all the makeup. I need a glow up because I'm PMSing. My period is coming any day now. I'm actually the CEO of Long Intros. Also, my mom's on the phone downstairs and my dad's like blaring some 80s playlist. So, you know, I'm not gonna tell them how to live their lives. It's quarantine, it's stressful enough as it is. So if you can hear that in the background, like, I'm sorry, but also this is reality, right? Where am I glowing up to go? Downstairs you know, for a walk within 2km radius of my house, you know, to the supermarket. That's where we're glowing up to go. But I mean, that's the reality of life right now. Glow up videos don't just stop because we're on quarantine. We have to keep the glow up going. Don't I'm really excited for the post quarantine glow up because oh my God, I'm gonna get my brows done, my teeth whitened, my hair done, my nails done. I might even splurge and go get a spray tan. Who knows, it's gonna be wild. Might get some Botox, might get some lip filler. It'll be the best glow up of all time. Let's get into the tan because as it says in the bottle, we're gonna fake it till we make it because you know the holiday that I'm going on after this is done. I'm gonna go to South, to Brazil. I'm gonna go to the Bahamas. I'm gonna go to Bora Bora. Where am I getting the money for this when I'm <laughs> literally unemployed? Like, unless YouTube blows up, I'm literally going to like Castle Gregory, which is basically like a beach town, like half an hour from my house. And like, I'm in Ireland, so it's never sunny. But yeah, I'm going to all these places. Yeah, I'm just doing this for my mental because clearly I need it. Okay, let's go. Okay, sorry, I lied. I said the first part of the glow up was tan, but I'm actually gonna start with a face mask. I had barbecue on my face for the whole intro, which kind of makes it more iconic, like we're really glowing up, like we're literally going from barbecue face gal to, I don't even know how far this glow up's gonna go. We're gonna start with a face mask, and this is the Dermalogica clearing mask, because clearing is clearly what we want to do. So hopefully this will just get rid of everything. Or at least the things that are like highly noticeable. I mean, I'm going to be real. We're going to be putting on layers of makeup. So like it doesn't really matter because what it doesn't get rid of, I can conceal anyway. But you know, it's good to do a face mask, you know, and feel good about yourself. I'm also going to do a hair mask. I totally forgot that there's things to do. There's prep that has to be done. Yeah, I'm excited for this glow up. I feel like it'll make me hit different you know but I think it's good sometimes you know to glow up for yourself to glow up to look in the mirror and be like Damn. and also when you feel good about yourself you treat yourself better when you like eat better food and you're like oh I should work out to like maintain this level of hotness or to become even hotter Coachella may be cancelled but hot girl summer hopefully is still going ahead and if not I mean we're going back into winter which 
Maybe I'll just move to the southern hemisphere and then I can have my hot girl summer. So realistically, either way, hot girl summer is happening because if I don't get it here, I'm gonna go hasta la vista and go somewhere where it's sunny. That's my plan. With what money? I have no idea. Okay, so step two of this amazing glow up is a hair mask. And it's not your typical hair mask. This is actually a more of a scalp mask. So this is the Wella System Professionals Lux Oil Reconstructive Elixir, if you will. So I use this as a scalp treatment. So what I do is I pump a few pumperoos into my hand and I massage it into my scalp. I don't have oily hair, I have dry ass hair. So what I do is I get this Lux Oil and I massage it, massage it into my roots. Uh, so yeah, I get a lot. We're loading my hair with the oil. So basically we're just gonna brush the oil through the hair and also brushing the hair just stimulates hair growth. I'm just gonna leave my hair like this overnight. You can leave this oil in as long as you want because the thing is with some hair masks, they have loads of protein in them, which means that they actually encourage your hair to snap and uh, that defeats the entire purpose. And I only learned that last year, like comment below if you knew that or not. Like literally, so a lot of hair masks have protein, which is good for your hair, but only if you leave it in for like 15 to 20 minutes. If you sleep in your hair mask that has protein in it, there'll be too much protein in your hair and it'll go like snap off. How do you know if there's protein in your hair mask? Google it because it depends on the hair mask. Like some hair masks are fine, but most, to be honest, are loaded with protein, which is good for your hair, but only if you use it for the recommended 15 to 20 minutes, whereas something like this, I'll link it down below. It has so many uses. It's literally my ride or die hair product. I'm gonna go take off the face mask, put on my tan, and I'll see you in the morning for the rest. Hey, hello, hi, good morning. I feel like a new gal. Like, who knew a tan could like, oh. The tan is done, I'll just show you now. So it's like, not crazy dark. It's just like, it's like I spent a few hours in the sun, you know? So yeah, we are out of the shower, hair washed, tan has developed and been washed off. We're gonna continue the glow up here. I actually already feel better. What we're gonna do first before we get into doing my hair is we're gonna do some skincare. So then the skincare can like marinate while I'm doing my hair. And I said I'd show you because, you know, this is a full glow up and I'm gonna show you what I'm using. So I'm gonna go in first with some serum. This is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. The makeup is the Star of the Show today, but skincare is part of makeup. That is one serum done. Then the next serum I'm using is a vitamin C serum. So this is the Mona C Radiant Serum. Um, we love a good vitamin C moment. We love some radiance. This is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum and it's probably my favorite. It's actually the best thing because it's so, so light. So I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream as always. It's literally my favorite moisturizer and especially before makeup. Cannot forget about the neck. Who wants a dry, crusty neck nobody so now we're going to go into hair care so i'm about to dry my hair first but before we go near our hair with any form of hair dryer or any heat we're going in with some heat protectant so this is the one i use it's the wella thermal image eimi heat protector spray and basically i just spray this oh my god it smells, it smells so good like honestly, if a product smells good, I just want it. Now I'm gonna start drying my hair. So what I do when I'm drying my hair is I section it off because I find it dries faster when I do this. I'm gonna start drying my hair. I dry my hair in the medium heat set setting. I never use the hottest setting and I kind of switch between medium heat and cold. Then when my hair is dry and I resemble something very Hagrid-esque, so this is what I do. So I get my hair dryer and I put it on the coolest setting. And also this hair dryer has like a cold button. So what I do is I turn it on and point it down. 
and just blast it with cold air so that will kind of set my hair give it a lovely shine and just kind of because my hair is growing a lot as well because I'm taking hair growing supplements so there's loads of baby hairs at the top that are like sticking up because they're new hair So that just helps finish off the hair and give it a lovely shine and a sheen. I'm going to leave my hair, not breathe, but like just bask in its fresh dryness. And I'm going to tie it back and I'm going to do my makeup. I don't know what kind of makeup I want to do today. Do I want to do like super, super glam? We're going to do our makeup. I'm going to kind of wing it. We're going to see how we go. So first for like my primer and to get my skin ready and nice and glowy. So yes, we're going to do like a glowy, full coverage daytime vibe, I think. Isolation glow up is real. So I'm just putting this on. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4. I haven't sat down and filmed myself doing my makeup in too long, I think. I haven't done it in so long. I haven't worn this foundation in so long. If you have not tried this foundation, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and it just makes your skin look phenomenal. And not only that, but the longer it's on your face, like it has ingredients that are actually good for your skin. So the longer it's on your face, the better it looks. Like I, it's literal magic. It's, I wanna try new concealers, right? If anyone has tried them, actually, will you let me know? So there's two concealers I want to try and I don't know which one I want to get. So I either want to get the Too Faced, this concealer, which I actually have, which I use for my cream contour, the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, Super Coverage, or the new Hourglass one. Now I've heard really good things about the new Hourglass one, or maybe I should just get both. I don't know, but today for a concealer, I'm mixing two. So I'm mixing my Tarte Shape Tape with my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. And in true Jackie Ina fashion, we're gonna let the concealer sit for like a minute or two because you get better coverage. And then I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I've been really into cream contour lately and yeah i've just been really liking the vibe of cream contour recently so we're just gonna go in and blend out that concealer like literally you only need the teeniest tiniest bit of that Too faced concealer it spreads so so well i remember the first time i used it i was like oops i'm just gonna go in with my if you follow my videos and if you're a subscriber who doesn't miss a beat then you will have seen a few weeks ago that I found the most insane deal hold on up I found the most insane deal on the Laura Mercier powder I found it for like 29 euro and it's normally like 29 euro including shipping and it's normally like 43. I'll put the link in the description if it's still valid. I set my under eyes with the powder, but now I'm just going over like my neck and stuff with any leftover powder. I'm gonna go into the brow. So I use for my eyebrows at the moment, I actually use two shades from the Anastasia Amrezi palette. So I mix the shade Yugo, which is like a cool toned dark brown, it's that shade there, with the shade BK, which is black. I only literally use the teeniest, tiniest amount of black, but yeah, I just like to make sure that my eyebrows don't look red-ish. Bronzer, I'm using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzed Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. No, beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. And it just gives this beautiful bronzy look. I've been really into bronzing my temples at the moment for some reason. The blusher of choice of my life at the moment, I actually mix two. So the Milani Luminoso, if you know, you know, if you don't get to know because it's one of my favorite bron blushers. And basically I put my blusher like just here. Like I don't actually bring it onto my cheek anymore. Like this is as far as it goes. Really lifts my face I feel. 
I don't know what it is about blusher. I don't know what it's like made of or why it does this, but it literally disappears into my skin. I just took a bathroom break, so I'm a bit disorientated. So my lips are kind of dry. I noticed it in the mirror there. So what I like to do is I like to take a cotton pad and just brush that along my lip just to get rid of any dead skin. I'm gonna leave this lip mask sitting on them. So this is the Laneige lip mask. It's the best thing I've ever used. So I'm gonna use a palette that I've been absolutely living for lately. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. So if you don't know, Charlotte Tilbury now has a Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette and I live for it. Like I actually really, really like it. It's just really nice and I think the tones in it really suit my eye color because I have blue eyes. So I'm just using the kind of browny, orangey tones in this eyeshadow palette and I really, really like how it looks. And now I'm going to use a shimmer, but I'm gonna use a shimmer from her other palette, which is somewhere. To be honest, I really slept on Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. Like I didn't know they were as good as they are. So she has this little quad palette. It's called the Palette of Pop. And I'm just gonna place that on my lid again with my fingers. I've been really enjoying using my fingers because I don't have claws, you know, we're seeing the positive in everything, ladies. Love how your finger kind of places shimmer on your eye because it's like not perfect. It's not like a cut crease vibe. It's just like, it's the real Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow vibe, I feel. So we're gonna go in with mascara and I'm using my favorite mascara. I've said this millions and millions and millions of times. I actually, it's a European brand. I think it's like Dutch or something, I'm not sure. But I don't know if it is available worldwide, but if it is, you should definitely try it. It's the No Cosmetics Sculpt Master Mascara. And I'm telling you, I've never used a mascara like it. Like when I use this mascara, my lashes just do the most. I'm gonna go in with more blusher because I feel like my blusher is fading, but I'm gonna go in with a more sheer one. So this is the KKW Mario collab in the shade Very Graceful. And it just has the most beautiful peachy tone to it. See, I don't know, do I want to go like very extra with my lashes or do I want to keep them more of a like natural vibe just because, actually no, I'll use these, these are pretty. I'm gonna use the unicorn lashes in the style Forget Me Not. I actually have this new contraption in my life. Uh, it was sent to me by the gals in We Love Lashes. I'll link everything below, but it's an eyelash applicator, like other than a tweezers. And honestly, if you can't put on lashes, cause I can put on lashes, especially when I've no nails, like with my hands, but I've been using this cause I feel like it's more hygienic anyway. And it's literally life changing. If you struggle in any way, shape or form with putting on lashes, like get yourself one of those. It makes life so much easier. So when my eyelashes are drying, I'm gonna use some setting spray, but this is literally basically gone. It's the Urban Decay setting spray, but it's literally, I have the tiniest bit left. Okay. Oh, oh it's coming out in like freaking dots. Do I want to reorder the Urban Decay or do I wanna switch it up? I know An um, Anastasia Beverly Hills has a setting spray now. Fenty has a setting spray now. The Morphe one, which I've used before, which is actually on sale. They have the pink one on sale. Or do I wanna go, I was gonna order like a Scandinavia one, but apparently this is made by Scandinavia. So I'm like, might be the same thing, but I might order the Anastasia one, the Dewy set, or the, the Fenty one. But I feel like trying a new setting spray because why not? And I feel like you just have so much control of like where your lash actually goes. Like it's insane. Also like the difference that lashes make, I think. Cool. So far, we are definitely glowing up. Like who is she? Okay, so I may or may not have changed my lashes, but they're actually like the same brands. So they're still unicorn lashes, but they're just different styles. They're cherry on top. I think they're nicer. They are a bit more dramatic, but what would a glow up be without a dramatic lash? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. I have that in my head like 99.9% .9 of the day. ASAP. Yes, sir. Rocky. Yes, sir. Welcome to Houston, Texas, ASAP. Thank you, sir. ASAP. Yes, sir. Rocky. Yes, sir. Welcome to Austin, Texas, ASAP. Thank you, sir. So this is the KKW Mario lip liner in the shade Beauty Icon. And now we're going to just go in with a little concealer kind of brush and my foundation and just make sure that the lines around my lip liner are clean because I do try to overline my lips a bit and sometimes it gets messy. But it's fine because we can clean it up. My lips are so uneven, it drives me demented. As soon as this whole quarantine thing is over, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get lip filler because I'm not even for like a size, just like even these idiots out, you know? So then we're going in with my second lip liner, which is actually my favorite one, the Urban Decay. Um, I actually don't know what this is called because it is tiny. It's in the shade Liar though. Okay, so now that our lips have like somewhat of normal shape, I'm gonna go in with my favorite lipstick, which is the Pillow Talk. So yeah, I love my lips being like a your lips but better shade. I don't like them to have too much color. And now I'm going in with my favorite thing in the world. Bit dramatic, but anyway. The Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath in the shade Pillow Talk. And this stuff is just amazing now our makeup is dunzo i'm pretty sure who uses the word dunzo please just no okay so i'm going to straighten my hair add my jewelry change my outfit and then we're basically done I'm blinded by the light. so i use the ghd i'm pretty sure we all know how to straighten hair i only go over the same strand maximum three times because any more than that, and it's just burning the hair, which we obviously do not want. And I go slowly along the strand as well, and just kind of slightly turn in at the bottom. Like two goes really with the hair straightener, should be low. It's like there's no need to go over and over and over and over and over and over. It just doesn't need to be done. And my hair straightens pretty quickly, like, I literally just straightened that whole section in like the three seconds that I was explaining to you. And just be very careful with the hairs around your face because some people over straighten, say, do the, like these little curly bits. Some people over straighten those and then what happens is all that hair breaks and you get like that weird wiry damaged hair. Okay, voila, my hair is straightened. I don't like my hair like sleek, flattened my head. I still like it to have a bit of volume. Remember the oil I used last night is the hair mask. I just get literally not even a full pump of that and put it in my hands and just bring it through all the ends of my hair just to smooth out the ends. And also it's like hair perfume, so if your hair already didn't smell amazing, it's definitely going to smell amazing now. I don't go near the top of my head with this oil. I don't need to. I just do the flyaways and stuff like that. So now I'm going to go change my outfit. I'm not putting on anything wild. I'll probably just put on a t-shirt or something or a jumper. So I've put on a top. I've put on my jewellery, my hoops. Um, I'm ready, you know, to finally... Go downstairs, go to the kitchen, have my breakfast, go on a walk within two kilometers of my house. I have well and truly done my glow up, like my glow up is done. So yeah, that is the glow up complete. I'm just gonna do a cute little side by side. So this is my after and this is my before. I've had a glow up, I'm feeling good. My hair's so shiny, I have a tan. My makeup's flawless, it's just a glow up. It's just a glow up, I'm actually starving. I haven't eaten all day and it's nearly 2 p.m. Okay, let's go. The power of putting effort into your appearance is 
something that is unparalleled. I feel like sometimes, you know, it's like self-love, like just giving yourself that bit of, uh, that bit of glow, that bit of tan, that bit of seven layers of makeup. But yeah, this is my final look. This is the final vibe. And I think now that my hair is done and I have like proper clothes on, the lashes don't look too extreme. So I'm absolutely fine. Last night, I literally felt like a gremlin, like a gremlin who just was lost in this quarantine life, was just letting quarantine get the better of her appearance and how she presents herself to her front sitting room, you know? That is the glow complete. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've linked all the products that I have mentioned and used throughout this entire video in the description box. And you know, if you're feeling a bit down in yourself and you're like, I just don't feel like myself, maybe look in the mirror and be like, girl, you need to wash your hair. You need to moisturize your skin. Like maybe just look in the mirror and be like, have I let myself really just go? And I feel like there's a difference between, you know, relaxing and taking care of your hair and your skin and like not wearing makeup, like that's absolutely fine. Like no one said you have to wear makeup to have a glow up. But I feel like even just doing a face mask and a hair mask, washing your hair and, you know, even putting on a bit of mascara, doing your brows, whatever. I hope you're impressed with uh, how different I look because that's the whole idea of this. I'm definitely gonna do another glow up when this is all over and that will be the most extreme glow up you've ever seen. And now I'm gonna go eat and like edit this video for five hours. So I'm really gonna make the most of it, you know? I'm really gonna make the most of it. Honestly, lads, if you have been feeling just meh, then try this at home. Give yourself a little mini glow up. What's the worst that can happen? Someone might get a heart attack because you look so good. It's fine. As I say in every video, if you like my vibe, do not forget to subscribe. I have plenty more videos that you can catch up on. I actually did a week long glow up before this all happened. So I will link this here and you can check that one out if you didn't see it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.